from chapter 4 of ICAO NX14 obstacle limitation surfaces we have already covered five surfaces and the last surface we covered was inner approach surface moving on to the next surface that is transitional surface which is defined as a complex surface along the side of the strip and part of the side of the approach surface that slopes upward and outwards to the inner horizontal surface well, this is a cow definition and uh, it looks uh, somewhat uh, complex, uh, but uh, let's uh, understand this with the help of diagram. By adding the transitional surface, overall OLS structure for an aerodrome would somehow look like this. This includes all those surfaces which we have studied so far. The gray portions marked parallel to the center line of runway are indicating the transitional surface. Now let's zoom in and study in detail what the transitional surface is and what is the limit of transitional surface. Actually, the limits comprise of two edges, the lower edge and the upper edge. The lower edge begins at the intersection of the side of the approach surface with the inner horizontal surface and it extends down the side of approach surface to the inner edge of the approach surface and from there along the length of strip parallel to the runway. While the upper edge is located in the plane of the inner horizontal surface. Overall the transitional surface has a slope of 14.3 percent which means that it would coincide with the inner horizontal surface after a length of maybe 310 or 320 feet or I'm sorry 320 meters. Moving on to the profile view of uh, all the surfaces which we have studied so far uh, assume the runway in the black color marked then the runway strip 140 meters from runway center line to each side thereafter the transitional surface which we have just studied with a slope of 14.3 percent thereafter inner horizontal surface till 4000 meter from runway threshold thereafter the conical surface marked in red color with a slope of 5 percent till the beginning of outer horizontal surface and thereafter the outer horizontal surface till 15 kilometers from aerodrome reference point allowing the obstacles and buildings etc till the height of 150 meters above ground level in the given picture you can also see the transitional surface as well one thing I would like to highlight over here that this transitional surface is just like the conical surface but the conical surface was joining the inner horizontal with the outer horizontal surface with a slope of 5% while the transitional surface joins the ground or the edge of st strip to the inner horizontal surface with the slope of 14.3% and what we have studied we are just studying for aerodrome with runway reference code 3 or 4. I hope everything was clear. Thank you and stay tuned for further.